My name is Brian Doherty, and I'm from uh, the European Commission Joint Research Centre in ISPRA in uh, Italy. Uh, this is the group I, that I work for. It's Crytek. We build uh, crisis management uh, platforms, and we form part of the, the GlobeSec unit with other uh, actions which are within that unit focused on different uh, tasks and uh, concepts. This is our scope and uh, coverage, prevention and preparedness to response and recovery. And we focus specifically on humanitarian, national, natural disasters, uh, sociopolitical crisis, public health crisis, uh, that kind of thing. And our coverage is global, even though we're part of the European uh, Commission. Um, various types of expertise and research within the overall uh, unit. Um, uh, automatic open source text mining analysis, geospatial information extraction analysis from satellite uh, images, statistical data mining, numerical modeling, infectious diseases, tsunami uh, modeling, which is also part of the work that we do. Um, we also, these are the kind of uh, work that we do, situation awareness, early warning and alerting systems, media monitoring, open source intelligence, and I work on collaborative crisis management systems um, and tools. I want to talk very quickly as a sidebar about a, a, an a application that, um, that we built um, for the UN, a field collection tool where agents on the ground can uh, supply information very quickly to uh, a central uh, server. Um, we have the ability to edit an ontology and set it up so that this information can be uh, automatically selected on a, a palm top application. And of course, the, the information that is uh, passed back to the center has, is geo-referenced, um, contains free text, uh, images, and so on. And without any further operator uh, involvement, it's created a, a web uh, site uh, page which uh, gives all the information which has been automatically uploaded from the responder and the agent on the ground. The Crytek platform is based on the .NET Nuke uh, open source content management system. Um, it's a modular uh, system, which is very important. All the applications that we build are b built up of individual modules which communicate with one another and perform specific tasks uh, within the overall approach. Um, as you can see here, we have a large number of modules, and the main point of this slide, when it was 15 seconds long, was just to say we have lots of modules. I'm going to look specifically at... Uh, two of those modules. They, they all um, work together by passing RSS between them. Uh, here we have the map module. On, on the left, I've got an example where we're taking RSS from uh, the GDAX alerts uh, system, um, showing, in this case, uh, volcanoes and so on. And we can specify how we represent the information as well as part of the setup. And on the right, we have field reports from uh, the Aquila uh, er uh, earthquake uh, earlier on this year, which we sent a number of team to, to report on. And this information just comes up in, in RSS and we can set up our own modules to show this. Um, a very important functionality when, um, that's required within a, a crisis management platform is the ability to uh, create a space for collaboration in a standard way around a particular newly identified threat or incident, crisis, humanitarian crisis. Um, part of the, the job that needs to be done is identify which modules go together, how they uh, interact with one another, um, what would be required from them, and how they react hierarchically uh, with one another, um, how the mapping, which modules will provide information to the mapping. Um, so what we can do uh, within our platform is encapsulate all that information in a template um, and that will give us a, a, a design for the overall way in which collaboration will take place around this class of, of uh, incident. Um, and then when the user or when an administrator says, okay, we've got a new crisis, we need to instantiate that, Immediately, this um, is, is created with the minimum information required from uh, the administrator, and then all the users can Im immediately start to collaborate around and crowdsource information around that particular uh, uh, newly created crisis. We've had more and more requests for early warning type uh, systems um, and applications. The queues 
applications, Continental Early Warning System from the African Union is one which we've been working on recently. Uh, Global Health Security Action Group is another one, which I'll talk a little bit about. And we've got other projects, both currently in pro progress and in the pipeline, um, related to the humanitarian community, which I can't really talk about too much at the minute, but hopefully that will come fairly soon. Uh, this is uh, from the, the GSAC uh, project. Um, basically, what's happening here is we've got uh, various feeds coming in um, from different health uh, providers. Um, and there's a normalization phase which takes place where duplicates and so on. This is part of the, the automatic machine uh, section of it, where um, those uh, feeds are normalized and then they're fed through into um, the um, part where uh, humans uh, interact with the information, moderate, filter and display that information. And um, that leads to the, the final feeds which will uh, come out. Um, Here's an example of the, one of the modules that we created for that. It's got various pieces of information. It allows voting, ranking, commenting, um, selecting for passing on to uh, further um, consumers of this uh, information. We want to um, incorporate the possibility to create new crises, new incidents, um, and interact directly with the, the data harvesting um, applications from, from Optima, from the European Media Monitor, so that you can create a new uh, collaboration environment around a particular crisis and define uh, the types of information that you require from your automatic uh, open source harvesting and then immediately begin to collaborate on that. And that's my presentation. Thank you.